Welcome back to Disturbed Reality. The act of parricide is the deliberate killing of one's own father and or mother. However, the term is sometimes used more generally to refer to the intentional killing of a close relative. Famous examples of parricide include Adam Lanza, the Sandy Hook school shooter. On the 14th of December 2012, Adam Lanza shot dead 27 people, including 20 children and 6 adults at Sandy Hook. Though, before the massacre, he started his killing spree by murdering his own mother. He killed his mother, Nancy Lanza, aged 52, with a 22 caliber Savage Mark II rifle at their Newton home in Connecticut. Investigators found her body clad in pajamas in her bed, with four gunshot wounds to the head. After he killed his mother, he drove to the Sandy Hook school and carried out the massacre. One other example of a high profile case of parricide would be the co ed killer, Edmund Kemper. In total, he killed 10 people from 1964 to 1973. His first murders occurred in 1964, where he killed his own grandparents at just 15 years old. After an argument with his grandmother, Edmund stormed off to get a gun that his grandfather gave him for hunting. He returned, and then shot his grandmother multiple times. It's also said that he repeatedly stabbed her corpse. He then waited for his grandfather to return home from grocery shopping. When his grandfather returned, Kemper went outside and fatally shot him in the driveway next to his car. After the murders, he then phoned his mother and told her exactly what happened. She told him to ring the police and tell them what went down. He did, and was later apprehended. Edmund Kemper's crimes were deemed incomprehensible for a 15 year old to commit, and court psychiatrists diagnosed him with paranoid schizophrenia. He was sent to the Atascadero State Hospital, a maximum security facility in San Luis Obispo County that houses mentally ill convicts. Against the recommendations of psychiatrists at the hospital, Edmund Kemper was released from prison on the 18th of December 1969 at 21 years old. He went to live with his mother, who previously sent him to live with his grandparents as a child. Between May 1972 and April 1973, Edmund Kemper brutally butchered five college students, a high school student, as well as his mother and her best friend. His mother and her best friend being his last two victims. On the 20th of April 1973, after coming home from a party, 52 year old Clarnell Elizabeth Strandberg awakened her son with her arrival. While sitting on bed reading a book, she noticed Kemper enter her room and said to him, I suppose you're going to want to sit up all night and talk now. Kemper simply replied, No, good night. He then waited for her to fall asleep. Then, he snuck back into her room to bludgeon her with a claw hammer and then slit her throat with a penknife. After the murder, Edmund Kemper went into a rage, unleashing the anger he had towards his mother by mutilating her body. He decapitated her and used her head as a target to throw darts at. He also engaged in sexual acts with his mother's head. It's also said that he placed the head on a shelf and simply screamed at it for hours. He would go on to bludgeon the head further and also cut her tongue out as well as her larynx and put them in the garbage disposal. However, the garbage disposal could not break down the tough vocal cords and ejected the tissue back into the sink. Kemper later said, recounting the event, that it seemed appropriate as much as she had bitched and screamed and yelled at me over so many years. After the murder of his mother, he then killed her best friend, 
59-year-old Sally Hallett. She was his last victim. He was apprehended shortly after and subsequently sentenced to eight concurrent life sentences, despite himself requesting the death penalty. Maybe in the future, we will investigate the Edmund Kemper case in more detail. But nevertheless, in recent weeks, a grisly video made its way online to social media. It's believed that the video was uploaded by 30-year-old Dmitry Stepanov. The gruesome video depicted him murdering his own parents while away on holiday in Turkey. He would also later post a confession of his crimes online, stating his motives. Let's take a listen. Dima, I The confession video itself is haunting enough. The crimes took place during mid-September of 2022 in Antalya, Turkey. Dimitri and his parents, Pavel, who was 62 years old, and Tatiana, who was 64 years old, were enjoying a family getaway at a five-star resort. On the surface, the trio looked like a happy family, but Dimitri had something sinister planned. Dimitri Stepanov had a history of mental health issues, having spent time in psychiatric hospitals in his youth and his early adult life. Some reports online indicate that he suffered from paranoid schizophrenia. It's also worth noting that Dimitri claimed that his father would regularly beat him in his youth, and even claimed that he subjected him to SA. In 2015, Dimitri was also reported to have killed a friend in an attack also involving a hammer. Though, little to no information can be found online about this incident. It's said that Dimitri's father died at the crime scene, though his mother succumbed to her injuries whilst in hospital. Fellow tourists in the hotel complained of loud banging and screaming, as well as music coming from Dimitri's hotel room. The hotel got several complaints from patrons and decided to investigate the matter. Staff entered the room and were met with a horrific sight. They discovered the body of Dimitri's father and his mother unconscious and barely clinging on to life. They immediately called the emergency services. At this point, Dimitri had left the hotel and his whereabouts was unknown. Police, however, quickly located him, and he was found wandering aimlessly around the side streets at the back of a shopping center. Upon his capture, he confessed the following, I was planning to kill my father for a long time because he tortured me, but I couldn't do that in Russia. In Russia, they put me in a mental hospital. That's why I waited to come to Turkey on vacation. I bought the hammer from an outside store. Actually, I was going to do the action on Friday, but I didn't do it because I wasn't feeling well. I didn't want to kill my mother, but she started shouting in the room. 
She would tell everyone, I hit her to shut her up. Since his arrest, few developments have been released to the public surrounding the case. I'm assuming that he is facing extradition back to Russia to face punishment for his heinous crimes. According to reports, Dmitry first shared the video of his crimes on Telegram, where it was shared and subsequently made its way online. It is possible that this is the first case of parasite caught on camera. I would also like to shout out Roscoe, aka Macross0611, who pointed me in the direction of a longer version of the video. But nevertheless, what happens in said video? The video itself is 1 minute and 51 seconds long. As the video starts, the camera is placed on either a table or a shelf so that you can see some of the hotel room. After placing the camera down, Dimitri then enters shot and reaches under a bedsheet to retrieve a hammer that he had hidden previously. Music can be heard playing in the room, presumably to try to muffle out any potential screams. After Dimitri takes the hammer, he hides it behind his back and stands briefly in the centre of the room. He then wanders around for a few seconds before approaching a door, which I assume leads to a balcony. He intercepts his dad as he walks in from the balcony and strikes him in the forehead with the hammer. He struck his dad so hard that it produced a cracking sound. His dad lets out a brief groaning sound before he hits the ground. Dimitri then strikes him again as he's on the floor. He drags his dad away from the balcony door so that he is in the centre of the room. He takes a roll of duct tape and covers his father's mouth in case of any screams. By this point in the video, you hear loud knocks on the door which appear to fluster Dimitri. He once again takes the hammer and maniacally strikes his father with it multiple times. You cannot see the blow as the view is obscured by furniture, but you can see him swinging the weapon and you hear the sickening, bludgeoning noises that it makes as the hammer strikes his father's skull. The knocks on the door continue. He strikes his dad one more time before scurrying to answer the door. As he does this, it sounds like you can hear groans from his father. You hear the latch on the door unlock, and a woman walks into shots of the camera. It is Dimitri's mother. She sees her husband Pavel on the floor and screams. She gets on her knees to attempt to tend to him. As she does this, Dimitri attempts to strike her on the back of the head from behind. He misses the first swing, but his mother realises that she is about to meet the same fate as her husband. She attempts to cover her head as Dimitri swings the hammer and hits her multiple times. In sheer pain and in immense terror, she lets out one of the most harrowing screams that I've ever heard. As she keeps screaming, Dimitri continues to hit her in the head. She tries her best to protect herself, but she eventually falls to the floor and stops screaming. This is where the video ends, though it is possible that a longer version exists. The original version that I saw only showed the murder of his father, so potentially there are longer clips of these heinous crimes. This video hit me more than most. First and foremost, I have to reiterate, the screaming from his mother Tatiana is heartbreaking, harrowing, upsetting, no words can really describe it. And also just the story in general, a son murdering his own parents in cold blood and filming it and then subsequently sharing it online or on Telegram. Honestly, it's probably the most upsetting video I've seen since the Miss Pac-Man video. Now, most of the actual violence in this video is obscured, but it doesn't really matter because it's still extremely hard to watch. 
You know, these sort of videos definitely affect me the most. Videos like this, Miss Pac-Man, Three Guys One Hammer, because you know that the people involved are more than likely innocent people. You know? Um, so yeah, one of the most harrowing cases that I've covered on this channel, no doubt about it. And again, this one is relatively recent. You know, there are truly some psychotic and evil people on this planet, and unfortunately, many of those people walk among us. But yeah, this case is just horrible. I can't summarise it any better than that. So, as I always say, do not search for this video. But yeah, that is the video. I hope you enjoyed it, if you can enjoy this sort of content. As always, thank you guys for the support, it's much appreciated. If you guys could check me out on Twitter, link will be in the pinned comment, as well as my Twitch, which I'm attempting to grow. Um, slow progress, but I'm attempting to grow it, so we'll see where that goes. But yeah, thank you guys for the support, it's much appreciated. If you guys do have any video topics or ideas, please feel free to contact me. Twitter is definitely the best place. Uh, but you can also email me. But yeah, enough of that. As always, stay safe, and I'll catch you on the next one.